Hello, uh, my name is Wim van Petrem uh, and uh, I work at the University of Leuven. I used to be the Vice President Research uh, for uh, Eden. Uh, I'm happy to be here with uh, Joe Wilson, uh, who is representing the Association of Learning Technologies, better known as ALT. Uh, Joe, maybe you can first introduce yourself. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm very privileged. I'm the UK Ambassador for the Association of Learning Technology, uh, ALT. Uh, my, my day job is I'm head of the Centre uh, of Professional and Technical Education at a large vocational college uh, in, in Glasgow. Uh, ALT is a, a grassroots or organisation for learning technologists that was founded in the, in, in the last uh, century and, okay. and does a broad range of work. Okay. Last century, so that's uh, <laughs> how long were it? it I, think, I think it was formed in the 1990s. Okay, and what was the reason why it was formed? Uh, was there a need for it at that time, yeah. or uh? it, it, it was it was that bit when you, when you think about it as the as the web arrived and as systems changed, uh, and principally in the sector I'm from, in the, in, in the college sector, technicians who may have been lab technicians or or studio technicians were suddenly being asked to be learning technology technicians, and we really had to. To, to find ways to collaborate and join up and, and that across the, the college and university sector so we could learn from each other. So it's a community of, of rather technical people, if I can say it like it, that? It, or? It, it, it does two or three things. So, okay. so, so mm -hmm. on one, one level it provides a technical sharing. Mm -hmm. uh, it also provides something called CMALT, a chartered uh, membership of the Association of Learning Technology, uh, okay. which allows people to develop and evidence their skills uh, which helps them career-wise move move between schools, colleges, uh, and and universities, uh, but it also does a lot of stuff in the in, in the policy domain, uh, both with institutions uh, okay. and also with with, with, with government. Uh, and how do you do that policy work? Uh, what, what does that mean? Uh, what kind of activities are you doing for that? You're writing white papers, or yeah, or, uh, yeah, yeah. So so, so if maybe if if perhaps uh, the burning issue just now, I think is all around open education uh, or open educational resources. Uh, and and wh what we've done in, in, in that kind of space is actually provide policy and wh white papers to, to, to government. Uh, and again, I'll, I'll chat about it later, but education's organised in an interesting way in the, in, in the United Kingdom. So it's, so it's given us papers that we can take to both to our university chancellors at that, at that okay. middle level, but also yeah. also to, uh, to, 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 to government uh, uh, yeah. to okay. persuade them they, they need to pay more attention to what's happening with UNESCO and, 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 the, and the broader world of open education. Okay, maybe we can continue on that aspect. Um, the, the UK education is a very particular system, I think, uh, and, and internally, and, and, and then you come from Scotland, uh, so, so there is that specific situation there in the UK. Uh, how does that go if you then talk about policy? Because I, I can okay. imagine so that so Scottish and, so and UK so is, is slightly yeah. different. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's slightly different, but it's actually very, very historical. It's not, it's not a recent, uh, thing. Uh, so the, you know, the constitution of the United Kingdom allowed Scotland to have its own education system, its uh, own uh, legal system and its okay. own religious system. So that's always been prized. Uh, so even now we've got our own parliament and devolution, mm -hmm. we still have control over that. So uh, in terms of educational policy, educational policy for universities, colleges, schools, work-based learning is all controlled in Scotland. Uh, okay. In England, uh, all of these controls come through uh, Whitehall and Westminster, uh, and uh, Wales and Northern Ireland, Ireland similarly okay, yeah, have, yeah. have devolved powers to look after the, the, the schooling, college and university system. Does that mean that uh, ALT has, has different approaches in, in, in Northern Ireland, Scotland, UK, or, or you, you work G on a general well, basis well, or so? Generally, generally we, we, you know, the, the issues in educational yeah. technology are, are, are across, not just cross-border in the UK, actually go, go, Global or or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. European, uh, but but what we try and do within the the Association of Learning Technology is have special interest groups. Okay. So, for instance, as well as being the 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 UK ambassador for the Association of Learning Technology, I'm the co-chair of the Scottish special interest group, uh, okay. and that means. So really you, you sorry, sorry to interrupt, but you do have special interest groups uh, geographically organised. Yeah, yes, yes, uh, but, yeah, but, okay. but re really, I mean, what we tend to do is have one quite small meeting 
uh, every year we, okay. where, where we share local practice uh, and we usually just swap some good ideas between the college and the university sector or, or perhaps the, 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 the libraries and, and, and other sectors that are interested in learning yeah. technology. Now, you have already said twice that you are UK ambassador. Uh, yeah. so, so, I mean, that, 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 that links up the, the, the work of what you're doing in, in ALT to the rest of the world, um, yeah. I assume. Uh, how, how should I interpret <laughs> UK ambassador? Uh, I, I, I think I think it just means that uh, I, I help promote uh, the, the the great work that all does uh, in in that bu building that network uh, and doing all the good things that, that happen within the, in in the UK. Uh, so my kind of public face uh, out, out out the way, yeah. uh, but also it's about it's about making partnerships and and, and okay. bringing things uh, back yeah, to, that's the, what to, I, to the old community. What, yeah. Yeah. You're now here at the Eden Conference. Uh, and is, is there any particular <coughs> message you already could take from from the Eden community here that you heard in this conference and that you think, oh, that's something we should look at in the UK, uh, or that's something that we do different in Europe uh, compared to what's happening in I, the UK? I, uh, I think the, the the refreshing thing is the way. All have so much in in, in common uh, that change is happening so quickly uh, that that we all really need to work together and and it's round all three levels uh, that level of getting national policies right yeah. uh, of getting institutional policies okay. right yeah. uh, and also bringing you know wh while all focuses on learning technologies this only changes if if both our teachers and our learners come come on the journey uh, with yeah. us. So it's also getting the right vehicles to, to, to engage uh, yeah. teachers and learners. So more or less across borders, uh, there is no, no. differences. There's no, there's uh, no, so there's no, there's or no not big differences that we cannot overcome with technology. Uh, I, I think we can overcome almost all, all barriers now with technology. And, and I yeah. think the, w one of the challenges uh, which we've seen with MOOCs and things is, is actually about accessibility. And I think that that's the next big, big challenge uh, of how, how we take our learning and knowledge and make it truly accessible. Uh, and, and that's about overcoming linguistic barriers and things as well. But I think there are cleverer and cleverer tools yeah. uh, coming that, 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 that's going, that are going to help us, uh, yeah. all of us with that too. That brings me back to what you said this morning in the keynote. Uh, you, you were talking about having uh, well, the mission of ALT was, was having impact on, on, let's say, the broader and wider community. Uh, how, how do you envision that? How, 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 what kind of activities are, are you specifically doing for that? Or is it more like a, a vision that you would uh, no, no, put no, forward? No, we're doing, I mean, I, what, what, what I might highlight is a, s somebody who's not here today but was on, on my slides, a, the, the work of Josie a, Wales in, a, in Leicester schools where uh, taking the principles of all and all, all of that round openness brought that philosophy into the, in, into the school system and then brought learning technicians from the school system up to share uh, share their expertise and learn from, from you know, I, I think there's so much learning going on just now around mm -hmm. back to that bit the, the technology, the, the policies, how to engage staff, how to engage learners. And the only way we'll get that working is but all working together. And it's the same in the uh, the library system in, in, in Scotland. Uh, you know, for instance, the uh, Scottish National Library, in some respects, is, is taking the lead on opening up collections and things. And the university system is learning from what the library system is doing. So it's not just restricted to higher education in that case. Uh, you're, you're going much wider than that yeah, uh, yeah, than, yeah, and to yeah. the whole community. It's if I understand o o opening it things up. And, and, yeah. and again, that sits well with the principles of, of lifelong uh, yeah, yeah. learning. Yeah, OK. That's an interesting uh, topic. Um, I think we cannot deny that there is something like it's called Brexit. Uh, and, and so uh, being <laughs> myself uh, <laughs> from continental Europe, uh, I was just wondering, uh, how does that affect the work that you're doing? Uh, how does that affect yeah. the, well, okay, the higher education sector in the UK will be affected and, yeah. and maybe also in Europe, uh, but I in particular the role of ALT in that? Is so I think, I, th I, think, I think there are, are, are two dimensions. For, 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 first of all, it was a national plebiscite and although I'm, I, I'm not in favour of the result, I have to accept uh, the result. Uh, I, I think the, the, the short term impact uh, is probably maybe around Erasmus and a lot of the, mm -hmm. the programs 
uh, the exchange programs, the exchange so, programs yeah, yeah. Uh, that schools, colleges uh, and universities have, have been engaged in. Uh, we keep hearing promising noises that the government may do something in that space. Uh, we, we know, for instance, some of the Scandinavian countries that are outside uh, of, 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 of the European Union uh, pay to be part of the yeah, er yeah, Erasmus yeah. programme. Uh, so we're hoping that that bit will be solved. Yeah. Uh, we understand that the research part uh, the government will yeah. co continue to fund so that that, that 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 bit will be solved but I also think more, more, more fundamentally in a, in a networked world uh, that these kind of political uh, or, or economic barriers uh, are things that actually all of the technologies that we use are things that we can over we can overcome and I think also with technology that we can overcome these yeah. maybe artificial or virtual barriers yeah. that we are now yeah. Yeah, implementing I, yeah. I think alt has a particular role to play, I think, to, to, to avoid the, the disadvantages of yes, something I, like COVID. I, I, I think, and again, that I think that that's the importance of building partnerships with organisations like Eden yeah. uh, and, 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 and other global organisations that this, this is all about sharing and about the, the world of knowledge becoming a, a flatter and, and, and more open uh, place. Yeah. That was actually my very last question that I would like to ask. Do you have any particular message that you would like to share with the Eden community, but you just gave one, maybe? <laughs> Or maybe you, you, you have something else that you would like to, to, to conclude uh, with? Uh, no, I think just really that, that all, all looks forward to, to working with the Eden uh, yeah. c community. Uh, I can see lots of exciting uh, synergies uh, and, and I look forward to perhaps attending your conference in Bruges, in Bruges yeah, okay. uh, next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. F just to, to reassure you, uh, Eden will not uh, abandon the, 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 the collaboration with, with the UK uh, and, and I think there is so much in common and, and the technology will, will not separate us uh, at all. So thank you very much, Joe, for this interview um, and hope to see you in Bruges next year. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Thank you.